All right. What, what is we he? We want to check in on Empire Six. here. We're having a quick look at Empire versus Alliance in the early moments. My nuts hanging on against the Loha dance. Yeah, everyone's going to back off here from 4CL. So we can watch Empire Alliance for a little bit if we'd like see how things are progressing. So Empire has had a 2-1-2. And at the start of the game, we see two deaths for S4. Tough matchup versus Queen of Pain, at least, in one through four, especially if you have support. So, I don't know. It seems like Broodmother has not secured this early game yet for Alliance. Hmm. So, so do you think from here they should be able to keep the Brood in, under, in, in check? Or is this still a game where Brood can take over even after a, a bit of a slow start? Hmm. I, I mean, Splinter Blast is pretty good. Queen of Pain is really good. Shaker is pretty good. I, I was really scared about the early game, so I don't really think that... So once the, now that they're all to an early lead, they're in good shape. Oh, Yoku. Play in with fire. Haven't seen the S4 Shadow Fiend that much as of late. He's been more on, like, the Batrider type heroes, like more tempo controllers or really dominant laners like Quap. Interesting. Yeah. Liquid now just kind of hanging back after that very catastrophic Roach fight. Though I guess in the end it works okay. out for them. Bulldog just got crushed in this game. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I think this is actually not, not a bad Brood game at all. Like, at least the early game. But I guess maybe it's tough versus Glimpse. Hmm. Bring up some stats, Ben. Look at some stats. Oh, the baits. Roland's just cheering from the sidelines here. Oh, they'll get the kill. S4 raise. Oh, they're going to get two, maybe. Oh, there's just enough. Ake with the easy double grab. Is he going to live? And he is not. Oh, 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 oh. one more. <laughs> <laughs> so close. The global hasn't been that effective in, in their lineup. I think they need they need to be able to jump in the other game. Oh, which game am I talking about? I We're, you're talking about Liquid versus 4CL now. We're still watching Alliance Empire. Oh, okay. But this might be a good time to check in on Liquid as they are smoked. And so, too, is 4CL. Let's see what's happening. Bamboo rushing in, yeah. engaging. I, I, this could be bad. He's going to get the jump here. Shackle shot again on two creeps. Not the opening pike I was looking for. Now they re-engage with the global. Bambo completely surrounded. An easy takedown. Nope, maybe not with the grave coming through. Swift any into the fray. Can they heal him up? Can they turn this fight? The winter's curse. Bambo, not again. How does he keep on living? This is unbelievable. Karoki trapped out. Swift any will finally die. Why aren't they using the quap to kill Bambo? Damn it. Well, they're not. Now Pykehead on the run. There's the chains. Nice grab by Matumba Man. Hunting forward. A one for two. The turnaround shackle plays. Four staff to his own demise. A two for two. Chaos erupts. And now they hunt back the other way. Bambo's into the fray. Suddenly full HP. Ready to rock and rumble. Has the gem. Has the eggs. It is nighttime. Please earn yourself. And he's going on Karoki. Well, quickly smack down the silencer. And now they may turn on to Fada, but Mind Control is committed on to EGM. He's really going for this one. They may lose everybody. Bambo is just a beast at this stage. Fada, already having used the Refresher previously, is in deep. Another Courier Snipe. Bambo second of the game, and now on to Mind Control. Void available, but the Quapple cleans up the Dazzle. Chasing, diving, running, retreating. Bambo just needs to get the hell away now, but the hook, an easy grab. No grave for you, sir. Your ninth life is done and bambo is dead i think i lose that one i think you've already lost have you no what was seven the and a half seven so one more death and and mr benjamin Wu. bambo just get out of there dude all right well a four for two in the end if those if this roach fights didn't go so poorly for four cl both of them i think they would actually this would actually be pretty easy for them to close out but because i think fada killed fada is both godly Roaches, farmed He's godly farmed and he's godly in the woods. Yeah. A quad bolt's pretty nice for casting it. Yeah. Nice. He's got the refresher. We didn't actually see him pick it up because we were poking our heads into Alliance for Empire. Which is currently three to six favoring Empire. Still early moments there. Now a hook shot onto Swift Denny. They're jumping in. Fada engaging. Has the ult ready. Let's it fly onto Swift Denny, but pops the armlet. This will keep him in fighting shape as mind control is dealt with Swift Denny and then embraced additionally. They've overextended here. No buybacks committed for that. Well, a sequence of random ranged attacks. Plink in. I feel like I'm watching Contra or something right now. Jerex, there's the curse. Jackal shot as well. 
Should be the death of the Bane. I cut another grab. Blink Tag already picked up up to 4.3k gold and uh, seems like we're going to have a lull here, Ben. Let's check back in on Alliance. Bulldog has died twice. Queen of Pain getting someone out of control. Shadow Fiend under farm. It's not looking good for Alliance in this early game. But they have what, the What do you consider rating. like their overall game plan after the early stages? I think... Are they a ganking lineup? Are they a pushing lineup? Do they want to sneak a Roshan? Definitely not push. I think they want to ideally limit the PL's farm through killing the supports very often. But Ake is forced to actually help out the other lanes, which you don't necessarily want to do that early. But Yoku picks up Invis Rune and dies. Yeah, so I... Ideally, you keep the PL under farm through help of the brew, and then your rage can get super stacked to the point where he can actually deal with a Shadow Fiend, or sorry, a PL, and then your Shadow Fiend has like a okay matchup versus Queen of Pain, but Queen of Pain killed him too many times in the early game, so Shadow Fiend has to like recover, and I actually think they're doing a pretty good job of... How do you deal with the Mana Burn as a Wraith King? BKB. Just BKB? Yeah. BKB is also really good for Shaker and Disruptor. We used to so. see people try like a... I guess he also has the IO is the other thing. Yeah. We've seen some players try Soul Rain in the past. Magic Wand obviously can be nice, but the yeah, timing I mean, can be tricky. You can even get like a Soul Ring on your Wisp. That's right? true. And you don't have to have any mana items. So I think that, that is not a very popular item nowadays with the, the demise of most of the Bloodstone heroes. Oh, Bulldog. Oh, Bulldog! Oh, that's that's big for them. Silence. Oh, they get the grab there as well. Two heroes taken out and in position to maybe pressure Aloha Dance, who's in the middle of the, the web swarm. Nothing really happening right now on 4 Liquid, guys. Everyone just farming it up. So we'll stick with Alliance Empire a bit longer. Yeah, they've had to devote so many resources. Like, all these heroes up in the top lane, like sentries everywhere, and PL dying is a really bad precedent for that early in the game. <laughs> getting chased down by spiders. Yeah, that's a painful way to die. I mean, he's I have dusted. I have nightmares about that. And under sentries. You know, uh, K pop Tosis has spiders in his room, like in the corners. And he's like, I should really get rid of these. But he had, they have so many, like, little gnats in them. He's like, eh, maybe I'll keep them. They're killing off all the other annoying bugs. I would not want to have snipe spiders, like, over my head while I'm sleeping. Gives me the yeah. willies. Smooth your bed. <laughs> It's a, he's, he doesn't have that big of a room, though. Not all of us. Wasn't there some? Not like all weird... of us can own the house, Ben, and have the master suite. <laughs> Wasn't there some stat about how, like how many spiders a human eats in their lifetime? And it's like just the accidentally. Yeah. Tw the average human eats twenty five. I think spiders? it's way more than that. Like tiny ones, I imagine mostly. Oh, you're, sorry. You're on, dude. <laughs> oh, I am. I can look. It I up. wanted to I Google can, it. I can look it up. The teams are very. Funny. Oh, okay. Average number of spiders consumed <laughs> by a human in its lifetime. Spider swallowed per year. S4 channels to Requiem. That was a r super risky TP going into there. But they get another kill on the uh, on the PL. Not really respecting the Wisp, I All think, right. in this game. According to Snopes, we have our answer. Claim, the average person swallows eight spiders per year. Origins. It's hard enough to avoid these horribly wriggly things while we're awake, and now we have to worry that they're crawling into our mouths while we sleep. Eight a Little year? Miss, Miss Muffet was a piker. That's a lot. Fear not, this statistic average, the average person was not only made out of the whole cloth, it was an invent it was invented as an example of the absurd things stupid people will believe simply because they come across them on the internet. Alright, oh, no. let's get into this game. Four seal liquid. Right now, winter or uh, Roland rather, let's go! Team fight breaking out, lots of action, global silence committed, swift ending going in, giving the, the old little smack a doodle to Kuroki who jukes into the trees. Hangs on for now. It's Matumba Man doing most of the damage here. They cursed, commit that on Fada, but Bambo's trapped in the cogs. This fight's going terribly for Forceal. Already two down, about to lose their precious Dazzle as the urn takes him away. One hero will TP out. That's the Wyvern. The Dazzle also dead. Fada godlike and Bambo. I mean, sure, he's living a charmed life and walking away, but again, Forceal. Falling further and further behind now. Give him the ages. That article didn't say stupid, by the way. I took a little creative liberties with it. But everything else was true. Winter, how many how many spiders have you eaten by accident in your lifetime? Swallowed. Little s spiders. He just shook his head at me.
Roland, give him a voice. Yeah, put on your headset. Stop slacking on your... Sh <laughs> I wonder how many of our viewers speak speak Mandarin. What would you guys guess? We've got uh, 30,000 viewers on the dot. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty interesting. Never seen a round number like that on Twitch. Less than... Two percent. Okay, I can buy that. Winter's in. Welcome back. My shift ends in one hour. Your shift ends in an hour, and you <laughs> spent the last two hours not working on your shift, so we're gonna have to extend it by two hours. But I was supposed to have a break. <laughs> that's, that's what Parker said. Oh, uh, it's a, it's okay, buddy. You can have a break soon. Do you like Midas on Wind Ranger? Do you actually get it? This yeah, time? he he it. went Midas Ags Force. Uh, Force blink. Apparently, it paid off. It's 52 minutes. I mean, he's died 10 did it times. Pay, did it pay off? Do you see his net worth? He's top net worth on his team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were actually. I feel I'm not liking your answer here. <laughs> uh oh. Hi, cat. BKBs, but he does get caught by the hook shot and now trapped within the cogs. Out comes the Queen of Pain Ultimate, forcing to back. Swift ending also the run. Bambo trying to stay alive here. Swift ending will end up going down first and foremost. And now Bambo may die. Can they sleep him? There's the group. Wake him up, Dazzle. Come on. No, no. Yes. Oh, EGM. Stop taking bullets here for Bambo. Oh He's going to die once more if they're going to lose for sure. I got this, Ben. It's in the bag. You want Alliance versus Empire? Looks like they lost S4, but they got three kills as Alliance continue to mount their comeback. This update brought to you by... The Merlinis, Jewish Merlini, Winter, are Asian you Merlini, huh? regular you classic Merlini. You still tired? I got, I got awoken by Mr. Gorman. I can hear. How, why is it so loud? Uh, even with the door closed, I can hear him shouting. <laughs> Bambo! Bambo! What is going, Bambo? <laughs> <laughs> get earplugs. We'll get your earplugs. I was hiding under. Under your uh, covers? Yeah, under my covers. <laughs> <and I did. laughs> Okay, I'm like, screw this, I'm going down. <laughs> you can't escape the wrath. We'll go on, though. <laughs> no mercy. I mean, you only have to deal with it for the next 10 hours. Sure. <laughs> Why not? You can go sleep on the third floor, baby. There's, there's like two person on the third floor, isn't it? I have extra earplugs. Bam or, okay. I right. almost called you Bambo. Mr. Wow, so they have the Slada being on uh, this game. Yeah, yeah, it is not getting the job done though. Fada, Fada stole Roche twice. Dude, and NS Wyvern has been what? Every game? So many? How many games have you seen in NS plus Wyvern on the same team? Did they open a draft with NS Wyvern? We did not see the draft. So you just hop into the middle of the game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Alliance game finished. So we hopped over. So who won Alliance versus, versus Stark? 2 0. Alliance won 2 0. Versus Stark? Yeah. I think so. All right, we're checking in with Alliance versus Empire in a do, moment do here, where there's a smoke gank underway. Alliance moving forward. They're gonna wrap around towards the top lane. Nothing much happening in Four Seal so versus what, what Liquid. What game were you guys doing before this? Alliance start. Oh, they're going on top. They catch uh, out so the Bulldog. Two zero. Bulldog in a bit of trouble. Um, uh oh, Liquid also fighting. Two fights breaking out at once. Where do we go? What do we cast? There's too much Dota. We can't handle it. They only lost the Dazzle so far in this game, not really the biggest deal. Oh, he was thinking about ulting. Whew, he really wanted to. Oh, Loda, the unstoppable force. Bulldog's bought enough time for his team. Loda comes in, and everyone is turned to the winds. Run away. Run away, Empire. Oh, that Laguna. Bam! Gets the job done. Meanwhile, chaos breaks out as we go back to Liquid versus 4CL. They're on the hunt here. They've caught out Bambo and Swift ending. And Bambo dies! And I win the bet. Merlini, put your chip in. Now we gotta wait until the viewers can see it, okay? We had we had a over on bet on how many yeah. how many times Bambo would die. And 7.5 was the number. <laughs> what? So you bet above seven point five. I bet below. Below. I, what, what I knew I would win that. What would you have bet? Below or above? Above. Oh, yeah, that was silly. He already had... He had three four. deaths. Three deaths, yeah. And he, and it, like they weren't dominating, so you know he's going to have to feed to carry the game. 
I thought that Slaughter was going to take a lot more. I mean, Bambo's played amazingly this game, too, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Fada is richer than God. And the siege begins. Liquid looking to take game one here versus 4CL as they breach high ground. Matumba Man voided. Forced back a bit. That Flight of Fist crashing through, though. The Dazzle Ultimate was deployed. Going to be wearing off here now. Just a few moments. Oh, there's the crush. Matumba Man doesn't get off his cheese. Does he have a buyback? He does. Not sure if he can get back into the fight very quickly. No BOTs. Doesn't look like he dropped a remnant. So he's just going to hang on to it. But that's okay. Fada's here to clean up. Three down. That's going to be a dieback on Bambo. As well as on the Slardar. Two out of the game for 90 seconds. Now your Ember will buy back. Jeez, 22 kills on Fada. Actually did have a remnant, it looks like. That's actually crazy how many kills he has. He's 22-5 and 18. Yeah. He has been thriving. He, he with stole liquid. two Roches. With uh, the Quapult. Yeah. And he stole the Aegis as well on, on one of them. Well, I say stole, but got the Aegis. Stole, he kind of just got a hand into them. <laughs> well, they just left it on the ground for two seconds. Which here, so. Oh, the, the rampage continues. Jerex now hunting towards the well. The last moments here for 4CL in game number one. Trapped within the confines of their own fountain. As they helplessly watch Liquid massacre the rest of the base. So they're going to drop this game. Two heroes dead for 45. We can go and go ahead and hop over. I think. Add Let's more see. faith in you, 4CL. All right. Benlini, you're taking your punishment here. GG. GG. And now, Alliance versus Empire. I'll, I'll hop into it, but for now, we'll switch to your screen. All right. How is this game going? Well, you guys are doing some multicast here. <laughs> Dude. That was our plan. Hey, man. We have, we have seven people. We're doing all four regions, all games at once. Okay? It's so, easy. The start of the game was Broodmother and SF having a really bad time. I think SF actually died twice very early on. And then Wisp actually came in from bottom lane and helped out both mid and top. And then Broodmother kind of got control. Did they first, first pick the Brood? Uh, yeah, the first it was Wisp plus Brood. Huh, first phase. Good, good, good. Better. It's better for them to actually do this. Yeah, it is. They actually look much, uh, their, their picks look much better this time around compared to the game we were watching before that. All right, so everybody now, we're officially hopping into Alliance versus Empire, where Alliance had a slow start, but after a series of very nice fights, find themselves with a comfortable, cushy lead up by 12,000 gold at the 20 minute mark. It actually looked kind of bad. They had shut down the Brood early on. I think Bulldog had died His twice was, his early. His almost seems fine, though. Yeah, he caught up, though. They, they yeah, rotated they on his up. lane. They ganked for him. The Disruptor and the Shaker just kept feeding him. Gifting I, him kills. I think it's actually very important for, you know, for the team to actually help the Brute, the offlaner, as, as a Brute, when you get shut down. You need to help him like at least one or two times to... Yeah, the Lena came in and... You help him get the supports kill. down and then you push the tower. That is the momentum that the Brute actually needs. Yeah. Now so she's got some control over the jungle here. Yeah, and especially when they have Wiz, the Brute can actually play so aggressive. Oh, resolution! Okay, that what is not that? your base. <laughs> Sayonara. He didn't have Echo Slam either. I <laughs> thought maybe he was trying to kill someone with Echo, but definitely not a possible. What is this build on the Rave King? Blink, Blink Armlet? Mango! Most importantly. Well, <laughs> how surprising. Versus PL, I like it. That value Mango to ensure you get your ult off. That value, man. <laughs> that's kind of I don't know if that's what Lode has in mind. There's n there is a Diffusal about to come out, though, so it could be very relevant. Is it going S and Y or BKB with the Ogre Glove? Or Agonims. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come on. I want that. I want to believe in that item. That I also really like the Weaver Eggs. The I think with Alchemist, the one of those could potentially work. Well, we saw Weaver Eggs beat Alliance in the TI5 qualifiers. Oh, yeah. That, w that, that thing didn't work, that game. Then you have to have a Weaver on your team. <laughs> Honestly, I think BKB or SMY both feels fine in this game. Because there's going to be mana burn. BKB, BKB is definitely a good tool for that. But, but he has Wisp with him. Yeah, probably SMY then. Why wouldn't he ju you just go uh, Mjolnir though? For the PL? Yeah, for the PL, yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah that like, would be good. Because Shadow Fiend's not that great versus PL. He's okay. I think, what we would need, you go I think we need a mango emoji. I would go Radiance. You go Radiance? Yeah, probably. Really? I like the Radiance build. What's wrong with That's kind of late. Though. It's late for it. He already committed to like a minus play. See, he goes BKB. 
Right, well, you definitely don't go back for Radiance. You don't go, no. Yeah, you don't go back for Radiance. Yeah, but now. you asked me if I am Oh, okay. You <laughs> would go back for Radiance. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't play Carry Windsor. <laughs> oh, no. Man, this Disruptor is a brave Raptor. <laughs> I, I wouldn't deny that. I don't play Carry. <laughs> so. Rightfully so. Uh oh. Resolution throwing out, chucking out the fissure here. Two turn one. It's been a very quiet game for the new off laner. Oh, you know he could also go Deso on uh, Wraith King. But why? Because he has Shadow Fiend. With and him. you can just like two shot people with blink. You blink stun, you can kill them before they can react. But the two problems he's facing in fights is he's getting kited by the lens, the diffusal, and the fissure and poison, whatever, whatnot. Okay, well he's already getting BKB. So BKB is gonna solve that. But he's already getting. So what after that? What after right. that? I, I think I would say that Mill Mill Storm of Mill is good against the PR. You like that over like an AC or a Desso? I think yeah, definitely because it's PL. It's illusion. Illusion is the problem. Yeah, but PL's illusions aren't going to survive. I don't actually think he needs a BKB at this point. I guess it's safer. Safer item, but I guess. you don't you don't have to get it. I still think he has a very high chance of living even without a BKB at this point. Or getting his ulti off, rather. Yeah, that's relocate and overcharge. But BKB is like very safe, though. He's not going to be locked down in fights apart from the curse. They have to but use the curse on But on he him. might not do enough damage. But that's SF. Yeah. If he just tanks the spells, SF can do, do damage in fight. That's true. Your shadow friend now 2600 gold. I don't know about him being my friend. As far as died six times and still almost topping the net worth chart. Dude, he's your friend, man. They did something that reminded me of you, Winter. I'm trying to remember what, what it was. What? They they bought a pipe? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on board with the pipe train too, Winter. I forget now. Not for this game. Oh yeah, this, not game this game is not very useful. It's a BKB game. This game you just get mass BKBs, then you get Scardy, you get stats. Even even for SF against uh, PL, I think you can consider getting the... Is it the Chidong Kwa build? Shiva's Refresher? What about it? Shiva's Refresher. Shiva's Refresher. Is he the only one that does that? Who? Shidong, Shidong Kwa. Does he do it before uh, eggs? Like he skips eggs on Kwa? Or does he go eggs, Refresher, Shiva's? Oh, you mean on the co-op? I was talking about SF. Oh. Oh, yeah. Shivas? He does go Shivas, yeah. Shivas Shilong refresher, Kwa. yeah. Mm. I don't... It didn't... He won the game that I saw with it, but it definitely felt like other SF builds would have been better. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think against Illusion-based heroes... Arteezy did something similar. He got the refresher of PI, I think it was, versus a PL. Yeah, it was PL. It was against PL. And they also had a co -op, so They just had, like, massive nuke damage to kill off the Illusion mm. army. But, you know, if he gets a new one, then... What do you do at that point? That was, oh, here we go! Quick Aegis, there's the Echo Slam on Resolution. They also trapped them within massive AoE coming up, but it's for turns. Looks for the Requiem. Lotus still got a second life available, and my nuts hangs on through it all. The race trapping him. The poor lonely Earthshaker tried to force staff himself away, but got caught within his own fissure. And not done yet as Silent now. Caught by the stun. Loda going to work here. <laughs> the power of Monster. Fueling him as a wipe the team, and yeah, GG. GG. Alliance is back! I really thought Empire would have been favored over them, but they played well. I think 